Today's video is going to be about installing the passenger seat back into my touring. Um, I had to take it out because I was using it, using the car as a moving vehicle, basically. So it gave me more space to put stuff inside. <clears throat> now that is all done. The moving is finished and a little bit annoying not having a passenger seat. Passengers are claiming that they have to sit in the rear, limousine style. You do have a lot of leg room, but anyway it's time to put it back so not really motivated to do any videos at the moment but uh, i figured i'll show along take you along with the installation method put the seat back quite simple actually so here's the seat it needs to go there and we have basically four fixing points for the seat the front two with two nuts the back ones and we have two bolts going in so what you need is a i don't even know what this is 16 mil doesn't even say i think it's yeah 16 mil socket extension wobble and ratchet so nothing too crazy uh you do have some wires in my case i have four wires i have to reconnect to the seat underneath correct me if i'm wrong but i believe these two are for the seat heating and then the small ones one is for the airbag detection mat when you sit down it detects the person sitting on it to activate or deactivate the airbag and i believe the other is for the restraint mechanism here in case of an accident kind of holds back i don't know so the connections are down here that's where the big ones go for the seat heating i believe the yellow one is for the airbag passenger detection or it's this one actually i don't know anyway they're just gonna be plugged in so what we have to do is now get this sucker in here and bolt it down so let's get the sucker in careful to scratch the paint but who cares Situated on the front. This perspective probably sucks. Situated on the front bolts first. Understand. So fucking hard. There we go. Okay, so these are in. So let me tighten that. Move back the seat. Camera and filming. Fucking annoying. So, I don't know if I should put the wires back in or. Hmm, probably. Actually, before I bolt it down, I should connect the wires so I can push the seat forward. Wait. It's probably easier. Do this from the back. Okay, which one is which? There's that one. Maybe I'll show you. You're not gonna see anything anyway. Uh, this is lots of fun. Why does everything have to be such a bitch job in this car? What the hell is this? So, here are the connectors, the one is for 
the there plug it in okay this one goes to the yellow connector yeah this is really stupid ah there we go doing it one-handed there we go click then we have the two seat heating thingies okay i wonder if they're coated or does it does it really matter? I don't know. They look to be the same. Okay. Okay, that came off. Good. One up. And then here, second one. Click. So, those are in. Of course, now it came loose. Okay, that's back in. And now, where the hell does this thing go? I don't know. It's like a thing here. Ah, okay. Let's see. That goes here. And that one I think goes in here. To kind of hold it in place. Not sure. Ah, what? Whatever. Good enough. Okay, before I do anything, bolt it down. Let's see if the seat heating works. I'm not feeling anything yet. God, I'm sitting like on a throne here. Come on, get warm. Uh, I think I'm feeling something now. Still not. Come on, get warm. Still nothing. Oh, come on, I mean, I think now I'm starting to feel. I think it's working. Whoa. Okay, this one. The back seat I can feel getting warm. But here, and here definitely. Definitely. But here. Hmm. Let me sit on it again. I think it's I think it's working. Yeah, okay. So let me bolt it down now. Everything is working. Go from there, bolt the seat down, and then we have some things to clear about the uh, dash airbag light. Of course, forgot something to mention. I mean, what's the point of having front seat in when you don't have a seat belt? So you have to first, before bolting down everything, because you cannot access it, it's down. This uh, holder needs to go in here and then be bolted down as well. So don't forget that. Put that in first, connect the wires, and then you can bolt down the seat. One other thing to mention for this year, this Torx to Torx bolt to mount the seat belt holder is a T45. So let's tighten that up before we bolt the seat down. And actually here you can see all the connections done, all fine and dandy. Tight. I want this thing to come off. Okay, just broke, just broke this cheap ass Torx thing. this again. After I already had everything positioned, I'll do it again. Great. Okay. There we go. There. There we go. Let's bolt down the front first. All right. Thread is better than no thread, but we don't 
want to cross thread these both. Yeah. A little bit of protection, it's all corroded a little bit. And now I'm tightening this shit. It's enough. Alrighty, so don't forget the plastic caps. If you care about such things, I mean, no one's gonna see it anyways, but we'll put it back for good measure, I suppose. Just like new, I guess. The seat is in, everything connected, bolted down, and now we'll tackle the final issue after putting the seat back. So, sitting in the driver's seat now, of course. I forgot to mention, just a quick disclaimer, the battery, of course, was disconnected when working on your airbag system or any electrical stuff on your car, always disconnect the battery. So I did this, I reconnected the battery, the seat is in, yeah, look at this, E36 luxury Corinthian leather, nice and thick, just rattles everywhere, but at least the seats are nice and the interior, the leather quality. What more can you ask for? Anyway, so after you put the seat back, of course, you'll have an issue with the airbag module because obviously you had the seat disconnected, the passenger detection mat, whatever, was disconnected. So it threw a code, airbag light came on, and now you would think, okay, I connected everything again, the seat back, it should just go away by itself. Unfortunately, this is not a self-clearing error, so it will remain. I'll show you, demonstrate. Ignition, and you will see the airbag symbol going off and then coming back on. So it doesn't clear itself. It wants you to go in there now and you have to clear it. Connect your diagnostic tool to the car, to the airbag module. Otherwise, this will remain on. Of course, you can go to a dealer and be charged, I don't know, 100 bucks to have it cleared or you can just do it yourself. You can uh, use the OBD2 port, which this one doesn't have. This only has a round connector in the hood, another hood. So we'll have to connect all this crap now, and then I'll show you how to clear this light. So just to give the heads up what I'm doing, I connected my diagnostic Bluetooth adapter to the uh, 20 pin port in the engine. I went through an extensive video how this works in my other video when I coded the cluster. You can go and have a look or not. So I'm not gonna go into details here what this thing does. Basically you can connect with it via in -par and uh, Bluetooth to your notebook. And via this tool, we already connected. Okay, I'm in the car now, just to show you how it goes off. Currently it's on, stays on. I'm connected via InPAR. And now we're gonna search for uh, the airbag module. So we have to go to F4, select, chest, no, body, and then airbag, yeah. It's complaining about the language. So now we're in the airbag module. We want to check the errors, uh, F4. Let's read it. And yeah, it's actually showing two codes. Um, one is the seat detection uh, error and actually the one um, for the, what do you call it? Electronic Gurtstraffer. I don't know, this thing is has a power connection. And during an accident, it has an explosive charge or something and then pulls in and tightens, tightens the belt or something along those lines, whatever. So those two things will not go away by itself. You have to clear it. And we're gonna do that. F2, okay, has been cleared. And now the airbag light is off. So that was quite easy. If you have the tools to do this, no need to go to the dealer and pay, I don't know. Probably these days, at least a hundred bucks. I mean, it's like a matter of five minutes, just if you know what you have to do what tools, software you need. It's quite simple, straightforward process. Just for sanity, I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna cycle the ignition again. Wait, well then it should go off and stay off, which it does. So everything is fine now. I can drive again. You know, passengers have a front seat again and dwell in the E36 luxury seats, heated seats, so. That does it for now, today's video, so thanks for watching and until next time.